Facebook and you see these posts what do they tell you what do the leaders tell you they tell you My friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how do you get people to actually want to hear about your offer I don't know if you know this but when you're building a business online your job or what you're thinking or what you're wanting to do is probably getting as many people as you can to look at your offer to look at your product to look at your service right so that you can sort them right so we're going to talk about how do you get them to want to because it, I don't you know you probably know this already that you're going to have to talk to 100 people to get one sale right how do you get that to grow how do you get that to 10 20 30 sales out of 100 right how do you do that we're going to talk about how you get people to actually want to hear about your offer in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets wouldn't that be awesome right if almost everybody you talk to actually wanted to hear about your offer at least took the time to look at it to hear about it right because that's the secret the secret to building a business online and selling anything to selling courses whatever it is you're doing is getting people that she's look at what you have right because if they don't look at it there's no way they'll ever want it right so you gotta want you gotta have as many people look at your offer now I'm sure you've heard that before there's all sorts of strategies on how to get people to actually look at your stuff we're going to talk about the way that I found is the best way to do it it's actually really easy and we're going to get into that in just a second but for four uh, let me remind you if you're listening to the audio you're going to want to go check out the video at cis403.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I will be sharing my screen all right so let's get right to it let me just share my screen and kind of show you what I'm talking about so when we go to Facebook right you go to Facebook and you see these posts what do they tell you what do the leaders tell you they tell you you gotta post all the time you gotta comment on things you gotta react on things you gotta go in groups you gotta find your target market all these things those are the things you gotta do right you gotta do that to build an audience to build your personal brand to grow people so that they see you so they know you and all that that's all really fine and dandy you know what I've been doing that for over five years now and it's it's just constant work right and to be honest it's always going to be work there's you know but the thing is that wouldn't it be great if you know one out of three people that you actually talked to that you actually sent a message to and I'm just I'm just throwing that out there it could be one in five one in two one in ten but what if it was so much better than what you're getting right now I bet you that right now you have to talk to 10 20 30 people because before you get even one to actually take a look at your stuff unless of course you've learned all these conversational tactics and you're getting really good at that and that's definitely something that happens over time but what if it wasn't that complicated what if you could send a message just say hey I you know I've been follow we've been connected for a while I'm just wondering if you'd like and I see you're doing this I see you're doing that I was just wondering if you'd um, if you'd be willing to take a few minutes to just take a look at something that's that's the, the 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 question they tell you to send right what if almost everybody that you send that message to would actually take it take time to look at your thing wouldn't that totally change your whole thing your whole business wouldn't that make it so much insanely easier I bet it would it sure would so let's get to what I'm talking about so I built a tool and this is not and the thing is that it's not really the tool the tool just helps to organize things but really the process is is, is exactly that you got to be going through your feed you got to be commenting on things you got to go find people in groups you got to be building an engagement but the thing is that there's so many people on Facebook there's so many groups there's so many things how do you focus on who you should be talking to let me show you active group users I'm actually going to show you the, the from my phone well let's mm, 
well okay yeah let me show you from my phone kind of what I do every single day let me I got my phone right here let me share the phone screen right now uh right over here where's my phone 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 right there phone okay so this is active group users now active group users is a tool that just helps you but the reason why it helps is because it allows you to keep track of who you visited so you see the date that's right there I don't know if I can I probably can't um I don't know if there's a way but you see the dates where it says 99 61 56 54 right there on the on the screen right um you can probably see my phone in my hand there but also on on the screen there but that is how long ago I actually visited their profile so what I do is every day every day the tool goes and finds people that are actually active on Facebook these people are people that are posting in groups so what you do is you just load up the extension you install it on your computer and then it and then you give it a list of groups right you give it a list of groups that you uh that your target market is in so it, it, whatever business you're in there's going to be groups on Facebook that have people that are that would be open or interested in what you have to sell right so you got to find those groups you find a few of them and the secret is not in messaging all of them <laughs> that that doesn't work you can't just go message people because they don't know who the hell you are they're going to be like who is this person I and they're just going to ignore you I certainly do it I get messages from people all the time because I'm active and I'm busy and I'm doing lots of stuff on Facebook so I get people messaging me like just randomly hey uh, hi or you know how's it going or just things like that I mostly I ignore them right and that's what people will do to you too if you just even if you use this tool you don't use it the right way it's not going to work right okay so the anyways I can show you how I'm not going to show you how to get it all this set up because there's a whole bunch of other trainings on that but the idea is you get groups you choose the groups you put them in there and then you get you you schedule it so it runs every night and then you basically have it so that it gets active people in groups so what the tool does is it goes into Facebook groups that you chose you, you saw the list there right those people that you choose to go um, on to um it's, that are actually posting in their group in those groups so it's either people that are commenting or posting in the groups they're active right they're actually on Facebook because that's one of the things on Facebook if you go to groups you're going to find that there's a lot of people that are in the groups if you look at the member list that they're not even posting they're just you know watching right and you know if they're watching that's why you should be posting too but that's that's a separate topic right now we're talking about the people that are actually active that are actually posting that are actually commenting they're probably in business or they're they're trying to learn something or or whatever it is right so then what you got to do is well not what you got to do but normally what you would do is you would go and you would post in the groups or get to know these people you go to their profiles you don't send the messages right away right you're not gonna you're like when you go to the, the community barbecue you, you don't just go and start pitching everybody there especially the first time you've ever been at the barbecue right this is no different so when you're on social media you got they gotta warm up to you right how do you get them to warm up to you <laughs> that's that's the real secret I was actually posting uh, yesterday a couple days ago about how I have a secret the secret is that people will automatically warm up to you if you do things for them if you do things for them they're automatically going to warm up to you and as they warm up to you after you know they're warmed up then you can reach out to them then you can say hey I've got this thing but that's because they seen you they they've warmed up to you they actually believe that you care about them which you know is true because you're trying to you want to help them right that's the secret you want to be helping them so how does that work okay so if you look at the tool if you look at the my screen here uh I can see all these people that are here I can actually go and look if I look at the say if I sort by the visits which is the little v there up top now it's uh visits let's fit, sort whoops I pressed the wrong one so if I sort by the visits and I sort in reverse order it'll show you how many times I've visited each of these people's profiles right so the ones that I visited probably more than five times I could send them a message I could send them a message and say hey well obviously I would go to their profile go check out what they're posting about today and I would send them a message related to what they're talking about but the thing is that how do I let that's the thing the tool helps me to know who to message this today right I go through these 
and I actually see right here that Stephanie Odin right there I've I visited her profile six days ago so what I do is I just click on her name it loads up basically the last um what the um, what the the message was right it's uh, what the post was what her comment was also uh the visits I've done 14 last 106 days 18 posts and that kind of stuff and then I I also could put notes and whatever in there but what I do now is I just click on her name it takes me to her Facebook profile directly to her profile so I don't have to you know when you're in your group right you gotta you click on their name it shows up your the group the group profile which is okay because it shows you how they're active in that group but if you want to go to their profile you then have to go to their profile again click another link to go to their profile with the tool it takes you straight to their profile right okay so now I'm on her page and I'm just gonna you know comment on stuff that she's posting about right like so I'm just gonna love this and uh, let's just ever thought of, about changing your name um <laughs> and I'm just gonna say um not 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 really um so I'm just gonna say that or whatever I'm just gonna comment it makes me show up in her notifications and by me being in her notifications she sees my face right and that's what you want you want people to see you in their notifications that you engage on their content by you engaging on their content you're doing something for them you know there's a few things that happens right first uh they see your face in the notification now if they see your face often enough they start to get warm warmed up to you they start to recognize your your face right so they know that you're a person that just didn't show up today right you're you've been around right their brain automatically records that whenever they look at it <coughs> their brain automatically records the notifications they record that they that they've seen you right so then what happens is also they appreciate what you're doing because you're actually engaging on their posts that they're on their profile you're actually engaging on stuff they do on Facebook you know why do people post on Facebook because they want people to see it they want people to react to it they want people to comment on it so you're doing exactly what they want so of course you're a person they're going to like automatically they're going to like you now if they see you only once and you send a message they don't necessarily like you so that's why you should be commenting a few times I I don't know really I'm still learning the best process but I'd say probably five times they need to see you at least five to and you know they say um they the in the world of sales they talk about seven to ten exposures so you know you being in the notifications is probably seven to ten times would mean that they would know and like you right that means you can reach out to them and present your offer at the very least so that's the and that's the idea you go through their posts you go through their stuff you engage on some of their things and you end up you know being um you know being like this right so I'm just going to post again great video and tips right so I'm just going to actually post something on this post so that she knows that I now obviously you know because I'm doing this training here this this episode I'm not doing what I would normally do which is actually listen to the video for a little bit to actually post a comment that's related so then what I do is after that I go back to the um to the the screen I was on with with her name here and I actually come I actually enter here that I commented on two posts and I reacted on two posts and then I click on save update so that updates Stephanie over here as being visited just now and it also shows I visit her 15 times instead of 14 and the number of now under the r is the number of reactions under the c is the number of comments shows you how many posts I reacted to how many posts I commented on and the beauty of this tool is that because you kind of have to do a little bit of work yourself it's not all automatic automated so you don't you're there's not too much danger of you becoming you know flagged as doing something wrong because you're not really doing anything wrong you're just using a tool that helps you to organize your process organize yourself instead of having to have you know a crazy spreadsheet and all these different things to do this right okay so now I can see the rest and what I could do obviously when I was on Stephanie's a page I could have sent her a message saying hey whatever it is your message you want it to be sending a message about what your offer and what you want them to look at or something um obviously you don't send them a link you know all these all these things that you've heard about online bu building a business online and growing your relationships and all that that's all still valid right but who to talk to and now here's the other thing 
so every single day I don't necessarily send messages to people every day but I do go on posts as you can see right up here in the little in the red box it shows how many visits I did today it says 21 visits what that is is how many profiles I've actually visited today right the next one is react how many reactions I did so if I react to three posts per person then you know obviously that would be three times 21 right now it's less because some someone as I, I react to just one or just two but that keeps track of how many reactions how many comments is the next column and if I send them a private message or I send them a friend request I would also add that there I'm not I don't use that too much uh, but that's what that would be for that last two last two columns down the bottom you see well along the 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 down the rows are per day so the last five days it shows you the last five days of so that you can kind of know how busy how many posts you uh what you did in the last five days and then down the bottom there's a 30-day average and a 30-day total so that you can see that on average how much you're doing I I've been doing as you can see 22 on average every day right so some days I do 24 some days I do 19 but mostly I do 20 to 24 um <clears throat> profiles every single day and that's kind of what that number is it just kind of helps you keep track of what you're doing right so the other thing is in the tool is um there's there's lots of other things I mean if I was to go say for example up top here I can actually um and disable the data table if I don't want it right it'll actually turn that off if I reload the page you know that table doesn't show up the floating table doesn't show up anymore right um and if I uh, let's re-enable it because I actually like using it and then um uh, what else there's two other options there I mean I'm not going to go into the, all the deals what I want to do is I want to show you how to use this how what's the best way to use this tool right so okay so here's the other thing so uh, like I said you sort by the number of visits so you can tell how many people you visited obviously when you start the tool you're not going to have any numbers there right it's all just be brand new so when you first start the tool you'll see uh I just click on the visited there to show the list visits if I sort the reverse it'll be kind of like how I've um uh visited but if I okay I've got a filter here for the group let's just do all the groups and filter and the note let's take the note all the notes as well okay so this is the default the default is it'll show you the list of people here based on how long ago it was that you visited them so if the first time you use the tool it'll say no it'll say there's no visit you never visited anybody so that's why it says no 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 right here so these are all the people that these are profiles I haven't visited yet right so I go to these profiles and then I do like I said I do engagement and comments and stuff on their page on their pages the other thing you'll find is that some of these profiles even though they they're active in a group they posted a comment or 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 a uh or or they they posted a comment or actually uh, did a post in a group it doesn't mean that they're active on their personal profile so lots of them um might not be active they might even have a locked profile or maybe they don't have pro, uh, public posts so you won't be able to see any of their posts or react to them so in those cases I leave it up to you for me I'm into uh, online marketing so I'm actually trying to promote this tool so I want people that are actually active on social media because they're the only ones that could use something like that somebody who's not active on social media who's not posting regularly they probably don't care about this stuff so I'm not going to waste my time trying to reach out to them trying to <laughs> trying to engage on their stuff that you know, <laughs> you know that kind of thing but if you're looking for people that don't necessarily post on their Facebook profiles you could do also if I go to this one I can see that he posted a, he actually posted something in ClickFunnels official right there um he says he's looking for copyright funnel builder so he might not be active right if I was to go to his profile right here I just click on his name here I go to his profile he might not even have any posts well I guess he does well a little bit he's sharing stuff and he's so he's posting things so I'll just go back here and the thing is that you can actually see right here you can actually go to this to the post that they posted if I click on this on this blue uh, post right here if I just click on this it takes me to that post the post that they posted see I'm looking for copyrighted for no bill that's exactly the same post so I could I could actually because it's a, prob a group I'm in actually this this is interesting this looks like it's not I can't even oh it's a page maybe I'm not really sure but 
normally I should be able to comment on this post or like it or something but it's not letting me there's no like down the bottom here it doesn't it, you know down the bottom where I'm pointing underneath the image I can't comment so I'm not really sure why but that at least if I could if I go back here if I go back here I'm just going to say that I uh, can't uh, can't so that's the other thing there's a there's the notes there's the notes right here where it says can't comment I just put that in there right now so it's, when I save it when I look at this you'll see now it says can't comment on this line right here right and also that I visited them just now so I go to the next one uh, this one oh this one here so this one here is actually somebody who commented on that exact same post and you can see right here he says uh, can help you in this project he's replying to that person if I go and then I, I again if I go to this person's profile they might not have posts I don't know I guess this person has posts so this person is actually building an online business so they're talking about marketing and and I'm just going to say uh exactly on this just to kind of have a comment on there because I, I don't like going to profiles and not taking action because this is a person that doesn't know who I am this is a brand new person that I'm actually engaging on their post right and I'm going to say um I'm just going to say awesome on here just make it simple right but that's so that and I when I go back here like I said I go back to the post I just say I commented on two posts and then I save this right so now this is added to my total see how it says 23 today right and it says one two two right right in front of their name it says one two two that's because I did one po one visit to their profile I did two comments and two comments and two posts right uh two reactions and two comments right and um I'd recommend don't do like you know 10 comments 10 reactions per day it really makes no difference because the idea is that you don't want to seem annoying you want to just be taking a little bit of action and you want to show up in the notifications right the other thing that happens too is that because you're doing that Facebook is going to start to show your pro your posts that you're posting on your profile so obviously you have to have you have to be posting kind of on a schedule regularly they're going to Facebook and start showing that stuff to these people too there's all this reciprocity thing going on but the like I said the secret is now you have a list now the other thing I do because I've been using the tool for a while for months and months right now um is that I can actually see if I, like on a day that I I don't actually want to go find new people right because new people you obviously you have to be finding new people all the time right that's new blood it's important for your business you always have to have new blood every single day but some days I might not um either I don't know my computer's off so the thing didn't scan or or maybe um I decided not to scan that day because every single day you should be go you should be using the tool to go scan new new posts new comments new people right let's say that didn't happen then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go into into this and I'm going to scroll down here actually I'm going to go the other way around I'm going to sort I'm going to sort the visited in reverse right here just click on the visited sort and reverse actually I'm going to show you how it looks like on the computer too because on the computer there's more there's more real estate right to see more so if you like I like using my phone because that means I can actually do these updates I can do these updates and look at things um and, and comment on things no matter where I'm at right and I'm not going to be wasting my time scrolling through the feed I'm just going to go straight to the person's profile and engage on their stuff so that I show up in the notifications right and that's the secret by the way being in the notifications grows your no like trust factor for that person they start to know you they start to notice you and they, they'll go visit your profile maybe not the first time maybe not the second time but eventually they'll go visit your profile to see what you're about and they'll even see your stuff in your in their feed if Facebook uh finds that you're being you know doing some good things right okay so what I do is I see how it says right here these are two hours ago two hours ago that's actually this morning when I did my 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 kind of run if you will right so then I just click on the load more to go get to load more pro uh, f uh, records until I get to um prob I, and this could be this this could be totally up to you right you can do it if they're three days old then you should go visit them again and go look at whatever they posted that day but if they're or maybe you choose four days or five days I go around you know six days five to six days is where I start I, okay look at that 
I haven't visited Susan's po profile in six days I should probably go visit it again today so that she sees me in the notifications again and I don't know I'm not I don't I don't necessarily recommend visiting them every single day because lots of times people don't actually post every day they post every two three days depending on who they are and what their business is uh so you might be wasting a lot of time going visiting profiles that have no content right and you know over time the tool is going to improve we're going to do things like actually the tool is going to show you how old their their newest profile post is it's going to include their profile picture instead of this little um, icon that's there uh, it's also going to let you sort actually right now that's one of the things I find that I need is it's I find it annoying to have to go through this list until I find you know people that are five six days old I would like to be able to say show me the pr the, the the records that are six to 12 days right anybody who haven't I haven't visited or maybe more than six days more than five days right and then it lets me go straight to that profile right so if I go to any of these people I can see that you know I can see that uh, David Boyd here I visited him six days ago and I visited him 15 times so David Boyd probably knows or at least has a clue that I'm in in something right he kind of knows so he would actually probably be open if he's into the kind of thing I have to actually just take a look at whatever I have to offer right and that's kind of how you do it right you kind of build that uh, anticipation or uh, interest based on the fact that they see you all the time so this is kind of how you do it you go and you find the 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 age of the last visit that you did to them uh, by the way maybe just kind of cover a little bit a few other things on the tool you see in this columns here the time column right next to visit it that is how long ago they commented or posted um you know the, the 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 data that we gathered this is how long ago they posted in the group right so this one here Hasim Shakir he posted seven hours ago in the group and uh, if I was to look at this you can actually see right here seven hours ago he posted in ClickFunnels official and he commented seven hours ago right so I can just close that with the little x on the top um okay uh then the other thing is you'll notice there's filters up here the group I can actually choose these are the groups that I'm uh searching in and I can actually choose any of the any of these groups and say filter and it'll show me the list of people that are only in that group that the that it's found in that in that specific group right so this is one of my favorite groups that's why they're all visited but if I go to say for example uh the click funnels group which is a very busy group uh you'll see that I most I haven't visited many of these right these are 15 days ago 23 32 well, I guess they are I did but uh, uh, you know if I go to oh here's the other thing <laughs> the every if I, you have it scheduled it'll scrape every single day go find the data every day and then you can have a list you have a list here so I can actually go back to to you know the scrape from the 18th of March and actually load the data from that particular um uh, data day right the 18th of March and this is the list of people that actually posted in those days see how it says 24 days ago 24 days ago 167 days ago those that's because those are people I picked up in the groups that long ago right uh so it kind of lets you kind of there's so much stuff let me show you the tool from the computer let me just turn off my phone share here and let me show you the share the how it works on the computer if I go to the computer uh I get to see a list like this it's a it's more data right you can see more data you can see um you can see their first name their last name the note the visited the post the comment actually right in the in the in the row you can also see um, the number of times this person shows up in so the amount of notes that exist in this context records and this is the uh, number of times this contact was found in, in scrapes right so just shows that this person here whoops I can't I can't click that that loads this up so this 304 shows how many times they they've been found whenever like every day if the tool goes it finds that name in the in the list then that's why this number is up like this but anyways that's probably not super important the other thing you can do too is you can actually edit the columns you can change this I if I want to say for example I want to add um what uh what, what's the one I want to see here 
the scrape country name friend sent group visits reacts last visit there's uh I thought there was a a total notes so see how these say some of these say fixed because you can't change them but there's some you can show I can show a voice phone number I can show the country I can show um uh, what whether it's a, a comment or a profile which group it is in uh visits that kind of thing um so it, it lets you kind of customize which columns show up in the data here I can I can hide some of the things I can add some more things the other thing is if I click on this um if I go here and I say all contacts and says scrapes it's oh I guess there's an error <laughs> I'll have to take a look at that uh why this is failing here um maybe this did I break something did I break something no 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 don't tell me I broke something to reload this did I break it I guess I found a bug there's a bug here so maybe if I do this let's get that out of there so sorry about that there's I guess there's there's going to be bugs but anyway so so this kind of shows you too you know the 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 posts and the comments that they did right and you can kind of see what they're about and you can choose to go visit their their profile based on that but like I said so right here you can sort by whichever these right oh here's the other thing you can actually put a note like I said like Stephanie Odin I can put a note in here you know whatever I want and uh let's just cancel and and you can sort then you can show just the ones that have a note or don't have a note or you can even search for like you know if I do a uh, stay just a search like this filter that I guess that doesn't that didn't work it's uh it's uh, <laughs> I'm doing things that I shouldn't be doing when I'm doing a demo right it should be I should know ahead of time right whether that works or not but the idea is that okay here's the secret what how do you get people to actually want to hear about your offer how do you get them to actually want to hear about your offer well they have to know and like you they need to know and like you if they know and like you they're going to be open to hearing about your your thing it doesn't mean they're going to buy it maybe it's not for them right but that they're at least going to take a look at it or at least not be annoyed or ignore you when you send them a message but before you do that you got to get them to know and like you so to get them to know you you have to show up in the notifications so they'll start to see you in the notifications you you don't need this tool to do that you can you can use a whole bunch of other ways to do it you can go to Facebook and you can use a spreadsheet and you just use a notepad to say hey I visited this person or you can choose you know 10 people and visit them every single day for a week and then choose 10 other people the next week you can do a whole bunch of different ways but the secret is that you need to go visit and comment on their stuff and you can just let Facebook decide what it shows you in the feed you can just comment on stuff that shows up in your feed over time that does build uh, some no like trust as well because people start to see you in their feed and they start to comment on your stuff you can do all that but you know if you want to be really efficient and you don't want to waste time this is one of the best ways to do it and I know that for me it works great because I can actually choose who I comment on based on whether I went to their pro profiles or not see how these see six days ago I should probably go visit them now after four or five days six days I should go visit them again so that I show up in the notifications again and maybe it's every two days I don't know I'm, I'm still formulating I guess it depends on their your industry your business but I sure love to hear from you about this now if you want this tool it's activegroupusers.com all you got to do is just go to this url activegroupusers.com and then you just can download it when you go to that uh, let me just open it up here in, in a incognito if you just go to this uh, activegroupusers.com it takes you to this 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 page where you can actually register and log in if I just click on register you can continue with Facebook and you can just set up an account for but the tool the tool is a Chrome extension so you got to go download the tool right here click here to download and activate the tool I already have it so it'll tell me I already have it and I'm in the kidney or whatever but you just go here and then you just download add it to your to Chrome once it's added to your to your um to your install then you can see it right up up there let me just scroll down here you can see it right up here in your notif well actually it won't actually show up right there it'll be here in this little 
drop down just like all these other ones I have and if you see, you'll see it down here or up it depends on where where you how many you have installed but you'll see it right there and then all you got to do if you want to see it on the top here you got to just click this little see if I unclick that it goes away right from here if I click this it shows up and it'll stay there on my bar so I don't have to click on this to go find it I, it'll be right here right so when you click it the first time it'll ask you um, for an activation key which you go get on the site here um, the activation key you don't want need you only just need to click a link and when you click on it and there's a video that kind of shows you how to do that I don't know if we can see the video here uh yeah there's a video right here so click here to watch video on how to use this extension that's actually going to go walk you through lots of what I'm talking about right now but the first thing is you need an activation key once you have the activation key you're going to be able to add a group you just paste the group url right here and click on add and it'll show up down the bottom when you first install there's none right so you choose your groups by just going to Facebook you go to Facebook you find a group you know if I go to my groups here and I I want a certain group uh, just uh, this is a group here hacking happiness or let's uh, let's see what else here's a javascript developers if I'm to building I just right click this I copy the link and then I go inside my tool and I just paste it right there in the in here so I just paste it right there right so that's the group now you you can take this stuff out at the back but the tool will take care of that but see how this this is groups whatever so then when you click on add it'll add it to your list and it's down here now it says group here I'm just going to remove it delete but that's kind of how you add groups to the tool and then you run it and you can also set a schedule right here I've got it set to 2 a.m so you just enable the schedule so it runs on it automatically but the first time you're going to click on this start button it'll start scraping the data and finding users and once it's done you click on this view data and it takes you to this well it's been loaded again but it takes you to the to the data that we do, we're just looking at then you can use your phone once you have the data you can you can't scrape on your phone you can't run it on your phone but once you've run it on your computer then you can use your phone to actually go and do the activities of you know visiting uh the people's profiles and commenting and all that on your phone all right so hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions go ahead and reach out and I would love to hear your success stories on using this tool that would be so awesome and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.